hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i am back with another message for you if this is your first time i welcome you i hope this message resonates and you will subscribe give the videos a like leave a comment if you felt led to do so returning soul driver new soul driver welcome welcome again thank you so very much at crystal waters thank you may god continue to richly bless and keep you thank you thank you thank you family for all the likes the comments i am encouraged as well by reading your comments and so i am truly grateful for you sending you the purest purest of love purest of love and light wow i haven't even started the message yet and the cards are jumping out so you know what the title is they underestimated you now family being underestimated sometimes it's not a bad thing at first it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel good when you know that you have what it takes when you know you're qualified for the position when you know that you deserve a seat at the table and the people don't think that you fit the bill they pick you apart you know when you're in a relationship and that spouse cheats on you or leaves you for somebody else sometimes that can affect you uh, psychologically because it's like is there something wrong with me I mean some of you were just outrightly rejected some of you from the time you were a child your families they let you know that you were different you were weird some of them went as far as telling you you're not going to amount to anything they called your names yes they called your names. I mean, they they counted you out. It's like when I think about this, I'm thinking about David. You know, it's like when the prophet came to anoint, to, to find out who would be the next king when God sent him to David's house. The father brought forth all of the other brothers. It's like he did not even remember you know, it's like the prophet, he thought, okay, this one is tall, handsome. He must be the one. And God each time told him, no. You know, it's like man looks at the outward part, but God sees the heart. Do you have any other son? And it's like, finally, the father thought about David. See, it's always the one who is hidden in the shadow because a lot of a lot of the people who are trying to fit their part the mission is not meant for them and this is something that i believe a lot of you over the years you've come to realize and now a lot of these people they're eating on they're eating their words they're choking on their words again this is like that part in the bible where it says the stone that the builder rejected is now the main cornerstone it's like you were that son that daughter that your family or your parents or parents thought that would not amount to anything and then won't god do it you are the one every time they need something they call upon you all the other children that they favored and were prejudiced and they thought those were the ones that were beautiful and handsome and were going to amount to something they are the ones who are not doing anything they're not doing anything for them so being underestimated sometimes it's a good thing because see, nobody sees you coming it's like you just crept up i mean when god does it it is well and it is beautifully done doors were closed 
that people it's because they like i said they looked at you and they thought they underestimated you you don't have the grit you don't have the courage you don't fit the bill and people try to fight you out to compete when in fact the gift is in you I mean, God is so awesome that even though David was anointed kid to be king, he was not placed in that position right away. He was sent back out there. So some people will underestimate you because, again, they don't know, they don't see the anointing that is on your life. And let me tell you, it's not up to you to go around telling people, hey, I can do this, I can do that, because guess what? When you do that, then people will attract to you for the wrong reasons. So let people show themselves. Let them show themselves. Let them show their tails. Let them show you their behinds. Let them show you their true colors. Because I'm telling you, for where God is taking you and for the plans that he has in store for you, you really don't want these people to be with you. So when you're going through it at the moment, of course it doesn't feel good. But in the end, we realize that it was all working out for our good. So yes, a lot of people, they underestimated you. And like I said, as I was shuffling, this card came out again. All my cards are normally upright but i'm telling you when when god has a message he will make these cards flip okay he will make these cards speak it's just like sometimes you want an untime word and you just open the bible and then anywhere and that's an untime word for you so authority in the upright you know you're a leader you're a boss you have authority to lead others. And this card came out in the reverse. So like I said, a lot of people, they underestimated you. They underestimated you. I mean, look at this picture. I mean, he has the halo. You are anointed. You are equipped for this calling that is placed on your life. You know, again, going back to the story with Joseph. People just cannot see you in that light because people are thinking that certain things should be given to certain people of certain status. You just, you for whatever reason, whether it's your physical, you know, whether it is, there is sometimes even something in you, on you, that rubs people the wrong way and you don't even know why it's like you don't even have to do anything to people for them not to like you really it's your spirit it's your heart and so they want to turn they they want to break you they want you to feel rejected a lot of these people they will project their negative behavior on you what I've noticed too is that a lot of people with low self-esteem, low vibrating people, they love to, to kind of ruffle your feather or feathers. They try to get under your skin because why? They want you to mess up. They want you to look bad. To say, I told you. I told you they're not the one. I told you they don't fit the bill. Pick me. <laughs> Choose me, right? When in fact, you are the one. I'm telling you, coming right out behind it is temptation. Yeah, a lot of these people, do you see this? This is the devil. It's like this is your light. When I look at this card, I always see it as, see the enemy with his hand going out over the light. It's like he's trying to put out your light. He's trying to dim your light. This is what I'm telling you. A lot of people, and the enemy plays a lot of people in our lives 
to try to hurt us, to get us discouraged, to break us. If you are going to start a business, people will say, oh, you know, I don't think it's going to do well. A lot of businesses came up like that and nothing came out of it. They're trying to discourage you, to throw you off of your path. Because yes, the enemy knows. He may not know everything, but he knows that you, you are protected. You are protected. The enemy knows you are protected. You see that halo? The enemy, the devil knows, and also the people that he's using to work against you, they see your light as well. And they're trying to put it out. They're trying to cover it up. But no, you are the light of the world. You are that city that is on the hill. You are that lighthouse that was meant to guide people back on the right path. And the enemy tried, or for some of you right now, the enemy is trying to steal your joy, your peace, your contentment, your self-confidence. To have you to second guess your authority, your privilege in this world. The enemy is trying to create setbacks in your life with the waiting game here. But like I said, after David was anointed, God sent him back out there. So sometimes, even for us, it could seem as if, when is this going to happen, God? Am I really chosen? Am I really anointed? Because everyday life is just the same old, same old. I'm under attack, spiritual warfare, one after another. The moment I think I can trust somebody, here they go again. And it's like going around in circles. But see, what you don't know, like in the sour glass, is that while you're there, God is still working on you maturing you because in 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 here you have the buds so you're still growing very soon this won't be able to contain you and that will be your moment to shine this is your moment to shine for some of you it's like the waiting game is over for some of you for some of you you have been waiting patiently you have been waiting patiently. And this could have been, you've been waiting patiently on love. You could be waiting patiently on partnership for a new beginning in your life. But Spirit is saying to stand your ground. Stand your ground. Have healthy boundaries. And it's good, I've said it before, it's very important for you to know your energy. Because a lot of these people, they will project their negative thoughts on you. Because they want you to feel worthless. It's like them dimming your light makes them feel good. It puts a smile on their face. This is how you know people. People are some people are evil. Because your pain brings them pleasure. But Spirit is saying, stand up. It's like, stand still and see the salvation. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries to do to you. You need to have faith. You need to decree and declare, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. You need to speak life into your situation. You need to return to sender. Because see, when you recognize that the way you're feeling in, in your body, in your mind, it's not you. That's not the way you think. This is not how I normally feel. You need to remove those toxic energies from off of you. It's like shake it off. That's not you. That's not who you are. You're a brave person. You're a strong person. It's like God is saying, don't forget who you are. 
don't don't be stuck in a place of mental conflict torture again a lot of these people bob marley sings emancipate yourself from mental slavery none but ourselves can free our mind and for us i think i've said it before most of the things that we remember it's not the spanking that we got growing up as children but it's the words that speak that people spoke so when they said that sticks and stones can break my bones but words can never hurt me i don't believe that because even until today, most adults, they can still repeat the hurtful things that were said to them as a child. That had them stuck. For some of you, they underestimated you and you're like, okay, I'm going to show you. Some of them, yes, the words crippled some people. And they never amount to anything. It's like the words came to pass. A lot of you, you are resilient. You persevere. You push back against those negative words. You counteract those. Because it's like you know who you are. You know whose you are. So Spirit is saying, even though you may not see or have seen things working, things happening in your life. I am still working in the background for you. You see, I'm still working. I'm still creating miracles in your life. And it's like when the time is right, when the time is right, you're going to see, you're going to see the divine is saying, use wisdom. You are wise. For some of you, while you're waiting, this is the time for you to sharpen your skills, to be knowledgeable. Get into the word, read a book, get a new skill. You have the final say, God has the final say, and God is co-creating with you. So as long as you know what is right for you, you know that you are meant to be somebody. I'm going to be somebody. I am going to be who God put me here for. And God says, yes, I agree. You are here for greater purpose. You are co-creating with the divine. Both of you coming together. And for a lot of you, the things that you have gone through, you will be able to share this wisdom, this knowledge. You know, you have this book. You will be able to share with others how they too, when they come up against obstacles, or how to heal themselves from all these traumas that they have gone through as a child. Yeah, you're very intuitive. And Spirit is saying, use your intuition with this temptation and stand your ground. Don't fall for it. It's like even though your eyes are closed, for a lot of you, you see what is happening. You can see these devils. You, you know exactly what is happening around you. And you're not falling for it. You're standing your ground. Because what God has for you, it is for you. And this is why you are tapped into this, this intuition that you have here. And this is us, very intuitive. Man looks at the outward part, but you see the heart. Because a lot of these people, they are able to fool a lot of people all the time. But, but they can't fool everybody. And you are one of them that they couldn't fool. Even if the, this person or people were your own families. The enemy used them to break you, to paralyze you, to handicap you. But I'm telling you, your comeback is going to be greater. You are the stone that they rejected. You are the remnant. It's like you are the last one who was fed. You are the one who got all the hand-me-downs. Some of you missed days of school 
to do other chores because your family thought that you were just not going to make it. They counted you out. And I'm telling you, it's like God loves projects. God, God loves remnants. Beauty for ashes. He does magical things with his hands. He's the potter. And, and for this season of your life, I'm telling you, a lot of people, a lot of people are going to be shocked. Yeah, because God is partnering with you. Partnership and alliances. God is working with you. God is sending true, real, genuine partnerships and connections. People who believe in you. People who will be able to see your potential. See the first card, the authority. People tried to talk you out of your dream you were turned down from that position you were fired you were laid off you were more than qualified and they gave it to somebody else but you're gonna have people come into your life who are going to see your gifts your talents your abilities to speak life into you to say, hey, you know, you're, you, you're a good author. You're a good speaker. You're very creative. You should start this business, have this company. People who will support you. People who will support you. I'm telling you. People who will support you. Get your passion ignited. People who are going to get you riled up. I'm telling you, God is going to rock your world he's going he's getting ready to rock your world for some of you for some of you this is already happening this is already happening see with these two cards coming out trapped in fear and disruption you know a lot of these people wanted you to be trapped in fear in self imprisonment this is a card of number eight that means unending infinite they want you to be going around in that hamster wheel by them speaking negatively on your name, throwing dirt on your name, trying to project their own insecurities on you. Yeah, they wanted you to have tower, shake up, disruption in your life. They want to, it's like, dismember you, dismantle you. You don't know your head from your feet you don't know who you are you know it's almost as if at some point in life you were so confident and somebody just did the the most craziest thing to try to to take away your shine to dim your light because you are you're too confident your light is shining too bright they want to take that out. They want to wipe that smile off your face. But God is saying this is a time for you to speak up. The throat chakra. Like I said, it's time for you to speak up. Use your intuition. See how the enemy is working. The people he's positioning in your life. To, you know, do low, low blows. To give you backhanded compliments. The people to give you fake smiles, fake hugs, send you fake loves. Use your intuition and speak up, speak out. Bind up, return to sender, speak life into your situation. That is what you are here for. You are here for great things. You are here for great things. Yeah, you're here for great things, but they want you to be in emotional loss over this uh, mental conflict. No, enough of that. Spirit is saying you're going to have material and spiritual prosperity. This is what I'm saying to you. You're going to have the spiritual union. The same thing that they thought you would never have, love. Not only are you going to be wiser, but you're going to have spiritual prosperity, material prosperity. You're going to have victory and success. 
your foundation is going to be firm. And let me tell you, right behind it is deception and envy. So you're going to have those same people who thought you were worthless, no good. You don't fit the part to be my partner. They're going to want to come back with deception and envy because when they see you coming into or they can smell that you have new people, new partnerships coming in your life, they can smell that you're winning, you're having victory and successes. They're going to want to come back, see with the mask, to smile in your face. But I'm telling you, like I said before, it's a good thing you were underestimated. Because if if not, then these people, they would just hang on to you just for clout to say that, you know, I'm a part of I'm a part of your life. So that they could enjoy the things that are coming into your life. But they counted you out. They chose somebody else as a partner. They chose somebody else for that position. They chose somebody else as a friend. And now when they look and they see what is going on over on your side, they want to come back. They want to come back. Spirit is saying, let me tell you, move on. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Dr. Maya Angelo. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, people showed us who they are many times. And we still held on. We, we still tried to make it work, to force it. But this time, God is saying, move on. For a lot of you, you have been kicked down so hard that you will have no choice but to move on. When you remember that you have more bad memories with these people than good, you will be forced to move on. When you remember how these people had you out of sorts, they wanted to break you, take you out, take you down. Of course, there may be certain connections because, you know, and some people just have to do what they have to do. Some people may have to break away even from the person who birthed them. Because that person may be toxic. Every time you go around, especially for the holiday, it's always something negative. So for your own peace, you prefer to go where peace reside. So even for siblings, parents, you may have to stay away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I'm telling you material harvest for a lot of you your cup is going to be full and running over i love those underdog stories those comebacks when you are down when you do, when your fans are not even cheering for you anymore but you see what happens though every time so when when that team turn around and they start to win then those same people start cheering again see that's the hot and cold thing that this person or people coming back with that deception and envy it's only when you're winning they want to hang around with you but otherwise they have absolutely nothing to do with you it's only when you're able to do that overtime in the workplace that these people like you but the moment you say no they turn against you they turn against you yeah, you're going to have harmony in your life. I'm telling you, peace. <clears throat> and look, this is success. This is a sword, triumphant success. This is a new beginning you're going to have. You're going to rejoice in celebration. For a lot of you, you are doing the work. You have done the work with healing your heart chakra. You're forgiven people. You're more stable now. You have forgiven. And again, a lot of these people, they hurt you thinking that if they don't come back with an apology, you're still holding a grudge. But no, it's because you free yourself why God is able to bless you because you no longer have any blockages. Yes, you have hope. Your third eye chakra is opening. You have strength from the divine. 
spiritual strength. When you are weak, I am strong, the divine is saying. Number nine is also a card of ending. So for a lot of you, you're ending, you know, situations in your life that were not serving you. No more fighting, no more rat race with people. It's like God is saying that season is over. Yeah, this is the truth. And a lot of you, your, your fulfillment of wishes, you are destined for greatness. Do you, this guy has a mic. He has a scroll. He's speaking, whether mot, being a motivational speaker, being a leader, teacher, preacher, whatever it is. And there's a gift box over here. You know, when you work hard, you deserve hard. And God is going to bless you. See, out of your belly shall come rivers of living water. So water is life. So a lot of you, you'll be able to speak life into people God has the final say this is who you were meant to be a leader teacher preacher and I'm telling you the enemy use people to come into your life to try to block your destiny to block you from coming into your calling whatever this is over your life but I'm telling you what God has for you it is for you and to be underestimated at some point in life, it's not a bad thing. To have doors close on you, it's not a bad thing. Because sometimes rejection is redirection. And God has something bigger, greater in store for you. God wants to 